Once saved, always saved. Does that mean there are no potential consequences for Christians who sin? Well, there are potential consequences. You could be chastised by God. Please read chapter 12 of Hebrews, verse 5 through 11. These are some of the most unpopular verses in the New Testament. Very strongly worded. They're so unpopular, I'm not going to read them to you. But I will tell you what Galatians 6, 7 says. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever man soweth, that shall he also reap. That's where we get the phrase from. The, you reap what you sow. Now, God can chastise us, but you can't lose your salvation. Don't forget, you are in your inner man. Your born-again spirit is joined to the Spirit of God to make one spirit. God doesn't sin. You're not sinning on the inner man. But he can chastise that outer man. How might he chastise Christians on earth? Well, if you look at how he chastised uh, the Jewish nation in the Old Testament when they rebelled and were very sinful, he chastised them financially, physically. Of course, if you get chastised that way, you can emotionally be distraught. Also, uh, there is a sin unto death. If you look at 1 John chapter 5, verse 16, uh, God could take you home early. Did he ever do that in the New Testament? Yes, Acts chapter 5, verse 1 through 10. A couple lied to God. They died on the spot. If you look at 1 Corinthians chapter 11, 29 through 32, you'll see that it looks like there's some uh, Christians coming to the Lord's Supper drunk. Some of them got sick, and some of them died and got taken home early. Uh, what should you do when you sin? Well, all Christians sin. We're not perfect even after we get saved. Uh, several verses apply to that. 1 Corinthians 11, 31 says, for if, we, for if we would judge ourselves, we should not be judged. That seems to indicate that if you admit the sin, that, that God may not chastise you. Also, we have uh, uh, 1 John chapter 1, verse 9. It says, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So if you sin, confess it and move on. Now, if you get into long-term sin, let's say that you're, you're stealing from your boss and you're doing this for weeks and months. I think the potential to be chastised is greater in that situation. But do the same thing. Stop it, uh, confess it, and, and move on. Bottom line, if Christians sin, they could be chastised. You cannot lose your salvation, but you can be chastised while on earth.